as I read through these nominations this year, there were several themes that spoke to our oneness, to our dedication to making DU the best place for our students and to learn and to grow. Day in and day out, I see my colleagues, staff, and faculty show up in wholehearted ways and contribute in meaningful ways, big and small, to our community. Dr. Sam Kamen, professor in the Sturm College of Law, where he's also the Vicente Cederberg Professor of Marijuana Law and Policy, is this year's university lecturer. Sam is one of the preeminent constitutional law scholars in the United States with an uncommon two areas of recognized expertise, marijuana law and regulation and capital punishment. He is regarded as perhaps the nation's foremost thought leader in the field of marijuana regulation. One of his colleagues at Sturm remembers Sam pacing the law school halls after Colorado's vote to legalize marijuana, eager to talk to anyone <clears throat> who would listen about the federalism concerns that these law reforms would present. It's my great pleasure to introduce you to this year's recipient of the Outstanding Service Award, Rohini Anantakrishnan. Rohini places a high degree of importance on collaboration and partnership with the departments that she and her team serve. For Rohini, that collaboration and partnership is built by listening and truly understanding the needs of their clients. We're not your typical IT department, Rohini told me. We're here to make your work better, to make it more efficient, and we build friendships along the way. Dr. Ramona Beltran, assistant professor in the Graduate School of Social Work, is this year's recipient of the University of Denver's Distinguished Teaching Award. One colleague notes that Ramona embodies a gentle but powerful pedagogical touch, that she is a model of grace, steadiness, and empathy, that she delivers an engaged, radical, careful, and compassionate learning, and influences circles of learning far beyond the bounds of the classroom. The 2017 recipient of the Quality Department Award is the Enrollment Management and Marketing Team at University College. What was striking was the number of students who were overcoming adversity of one sort or another, and how critical the, the assistance and support of this team proved to be to that student's success. The team consistently goes above and beyond to make the experience of all students, including online students, personalized and special. Nancy Leong, professor in the Sturm College of Law, is this year's recipient of the University of Denver's Distinguished Scholar Award. According to one reviewer, Nancy's scholarly productivity is astonishing. Considering the enormity of her output and its lasting input, excuse me, impact on the community of legal scholars, the judiciary, and on public discourse. In this relatively short career, Nancy has published 34 articles and essays at least. The Crimson and Gold Civic Engagement Award is designed to re give recognition to an employee who displays outstanding commitment and support of the University of Denver community. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to Nancy Jones, this year's recipient of the Crimson and Gold Award. I'm a joiner, Nancy told me. I can't just do my job and go home. This community is very important to me. Perhaps the way that Nancy's influence has been most greatly felt on our campus is through her role as a supporter and mentor of both staff and students. As one of her colleagues told us, Nancy makes herself to avail available to anyone who needs her anytime they need her. Dr. Gloria Miller, tenured full professor and mortgage endowed professor of literacy at the Mortgage College of Education, is this year's recipient of the United Methodist Church University Scholar Teacher Award. Gloria is an internationally acclaimed scholar of early childhood social emotional development, self-regulation, emergent literacy and language development, family intervention to improve parent-child relations, and home and school prevention and intervention strategies to enhance early learning. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to this year's recipient of the Staff Innovator Award, Dr. Nikki Latino, who is joined today by her very extensive DU family. The Staff Innovator Award is given to the University of Denver staff member who has demonstrated creativity and innovation in his or her work. It would be easy for someone who has spent such a career successfully serving students at the same university to have a business as usual approach. This is not the case with Nikki. Instead, a true innovator 
Nikki is able to envision and execute creative solutions to continually meet the needs of our students. Dr. Floyd Cobb is this year's recipient of the Ruth Murray Underhill Teaching Award, an award given annually to an adjunct faculty member in recognition of excellence in teaching. A colleague writes that Floyd is an outstanding teacher, role model, and mentor. He's an exceptional educator who embodies a rare combination of extraordinary professional leadership with a deep and active research knowledge of equity and educational theory. Dr. Sarah Pesson, tenured full professor, professor in the departments of philosophy and Judaic studies, who's also the director of the Center for Judaic Studies and the Interfaith Chair at the Center for Judaic Studies, is this year's recipient of the university's Faculty Service Award. Since 2001, she has engaged in at least, and I counted them, 87 different service capacities, which is stunning. Faculty members do a variety of service activity to their scholarly profession, to the university, and to the community. Sarah has done all, Sarah has done all of these well, and with boundless enthusiasm and exuberance. Please, let's give another round of applause to our faculty and staff awardees.